Hello YouTubers and information super highway travelers. What we're going to be looking at today is changing the theme on our Windows XP. If you don't like the way it looks, you can change it around. You can make it look more like Windows 98 if you would like. Here's the first thing we're going to look at. It's the quick launch bar. It's not normally set in Windows XP. When you get the Windows XP, you don't even know there's a quick launch bar. And one of the coolest things about the quick launch bar, it's right here. You can add icons to it for things you want to start quickly, and I use, use a lot of it, use it a lot. But this little thing, it says show desktop. Let's just show you what it does. Let's say you have a whole bunch of things on the screen at once and you don't want any of them, you want to just get to your desktop, you click on it and it takes it away. So you can see your desktop. Click on it again, it brings back up the stuff. Now if you click on it, and you do something, like I just did something, and you hit 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 it again, it ain't going to bring it back up the same way it is. It's going to forget. It's going to bring bring it up the way it was the last thing you opened. Okay, now, if you want to change, like your start menu dialog, you see how it looks here? If you want that to look more like Windows XP, Windows 98, you just go over here and you right click on the start button. You left click on properties and you go to classic view. Hit apply. Now my now you can see how my start dialog box has changed. Control panel's now under settings. All right, now I'm going to go back to the way I've been using it for the last five or six years. <laughs> and you can go to taskbar. Here's where you can pick your show quick launch. You click on that, hit apply, and OK, and the quick launch bar will show up where you can get your show desktop. You can also lock the bar, you can make lock your bar. It's not locked. You can pull your bar around like this if you click on it and move it around. That is, if you want to move it to the top, bottom, or left, right of your screen. You just grab onto it on an empty spot, and you can move it around. If you hit lock, lock taskbar, it's going to keep it right where it's at. Auto hide will make your uh, taskbar do that when you're not using it. If you want to use your taskbar, you got to move your mouse down and the taskbar will pop up. It automatically gets it off your screen so you have a little bit more room. Probably helpful on a laptop where the screen's not as high as a normal screen. I, however, do not want it to auto-hide. Now, if you want to go further into theme changing, you right click on your desktop, you go down to properties, you go to appearance, and you can change Windows Classic style, Windows XP style, Windows Media Center style, the color scheme can be changed, energy blue, that's all this Windows Media Center style has. You can make the fonts larger. And click on effects. You can change show shadows under menu, show window content while dragging, hide underlined letters for keyboard navigation until I press the alt key. Use the following method to smooth edges. Fade effect. You can click the advanced key. And you can change colors of all kinds of different text bar menus. But I'm not going to be doing any of that. Anyways, hopefully this is helpful to somebody. You guys enjoy your morning, evening, afternoon. What?
in the heck? Okay, I hit a button that thought it was shutting me down. Oh, I hit apply to this thing. Darn it. Well, anyways, I'm sure I won't notice the difference. Enjoy your morning, evening, afternoon, brunch, lunch, dinner, whatever, wherever, whenever.